From time to time, I get calls about bovine leukemia virus. Bovine leukemia virus is a virus that is capable of causing cancer in cattle. There are different names for this disease. Enzootic bovine leukosis, malignant lymphoma, and lymphosarcoma are all different names for the same disease. In the U.S., it's estimated that about 44% of all dairy cattle have this virus and about 10% of our beef cattle. It is the, lymphosarcoma is the number one reason that cattle get condemned at slaughter. Now, the way cattle are infected with this disease is through blood transfer. So, when we use contaminated needles or dirty instruments, uh, palpation sleeves over and over. This allows for us to transfer blood from one animal to another. Now calves may be actually infected in the uterus or during the birthing process. And we do think that insects may play a role, although the evidence to that is lacking. Now there are three possible outcomes once an animal becomes infected with the virus. The most common outcome is these cattle are normal and healthy and do fine the rest of their life. Another possibility in a, in a small percentage of these animals is that they will always have, if we do a blood test, will always have a persistent high white count and that's because their lymphocytes are always elevated. Now, in less than 5% of the cattle, they will develop cancer. And the symptoms you're gonna see with this are going to be a wasting disease. They're gonna they're gonna lose their appetite, they're gonna lose weight. You actually may see lymph nodes that increase in size. Uh, if the tumors infect the spinal cord, you'll see some lameness or paralysis, or if it infects a specific organ, you may be see clinical signs associated with that organ. Diagnosis of this disease is through the blood. Since we have no vaccine, any animal that comes up positive for the virus has the virus. But we do need to keep in mind, just because you have the virus doesn't mean you're going to get cancer. There is no treatment for this disease. Uh, if we want to prevent this disease, it all revolves around preventing the transfer of blood, changing needles in between each cow, making sure our instruments stay clean, change palpation sleeves regularly, keep our calving areas clean. If you feed colostrum, if you will freeze it or you will pasteurize it, this will inactivate the vaccine and also controlling insects may be beneficial. If you'd like some more information about bovine leukemia virus, please go to the SUNUP website.